Hey guys, for today's video, we're gonna show you how to make delicious fail-proof cold brew every single time. So before you begin, you'll need proper tools to make your cold brew with. So it could be anything from using a mason jar and a cheesecloth to our shelter system. Whatever method you go with, you'll just need something to immerse your coffee beans in water. So now that you have some type of system established, we can now jump straight into the tips. Tip number one, use medium to dark roast. Cold is known to have that dark, chocolatey, smooth taste that we all love. And it all comes from medium to dark roast. You can technically use light roast if you want, but it just won't yield that flavor profile that we are accustomed to. If you really love the cold brew that you get at a Starbucks, then we'd recommend going with medium to dark roast. Number two, use coarse ground. Coarse ground coffee is usually the best grind size for cold brew. If you use anything finer than that, then your cold brew can get a little muddy and a bit bitter, which is not really ideal for cold brew. If you're grinding your own coffee beans and you're not sure of what coarse ground looks like, just make sure that it looks a bit like sea salt and nothing smaller than that. And most coffee grinders have settings you can choose from, so just set it to coarse and you're good to go. Number three, ratio matters. Ratio is one of the most common questions we see about cold brew. So ratio here refers to the ratio of coffee grounds to water. And depending on how much coffee grounds and water you use, it can really make a difference on how your cold brew turns out. So here's a general rule of thumb. The higher the ratio of coffee grounds to water, the stronger your cold brew will be. And the lower the ratio of coffee grounds to water, the weaker your cold brew will be. So for example, if you use one part coffee grounds to four parts water, that's gonna give you a very strong cold brew. But if you use one part coffee grounds to say 10 parts water, that's gonna give you a pretty diluted, weaker cold brew. And that's how ratio works. Number four, time matters. So time is also a very important factor into making your cold brew. So another basic rule of thumb is, the longer you brew, the stronger your cold brew will be. And the shorter the brewing time, the weaker your cold brew will be. Sounds pretty obvious. But you also have to take what we mentioned earlier, ratio into account. So the ratio and time go hand in hand. You kind of have to play around to see what you like best. So for example, you can do the same ratio for longer and get a stronger cold brew. Do the same ratio for a shorter period of time and get a weaker cold brew. Or you can do a different ratio for the same amount of time and get a strong cold brew. Do another you know, combination of ratio, do it for the same amount of time and get a weaker cold brew. So if you can't tell already, cold brewing does require some amount of experimentation. So we really encourage you to experiment with time and ratio to find the cold brew that you like. Number five, use filtered water. When it comes to cold brew, water does matter. We like to use filtered water for our cold brew. You can technically use tap water, but it really depends on where you live. In some places, they use cleaners and chemicals to make your water pure, and it's really not good for cold brew. So be sure to check the quality of your water before you make your cold brew, because you don't want your brew to be contaminated. All right guys, so those are our five tips on how to make delicious fail-proof cold brew every single time. So just to recap, here were the five tips. So number one, use medium to dark rose. Number two, use coarse ground coffee. Number three, play around with ratio. Number four, play around with time. And number five, use filter water. All right, thanks for watching this video, guys. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye.